Let the peace, love, and blessing of Jehovah God and His Christ be upon the entire world. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Empty mind is healthy abode for the devil. Everlasting gospel delivered to the entire world by the Holy Spirit of truth, leader Olumba, Olumba, Obu, the supernatural teacher. First lesson, Second Peter chapter 2 verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein and overcome. The latter end is worse with them than the beginning. Second lesson, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 32. But when we are judged, we are chastened of the Lord, that we should not be condemned with the world. Golden text, Matthew chapter 12, verses 44 to 45. Then, said, then he said, I will return into my house from whence I came out, and when he is come, he findeth it empty, swept, and garnished. Then goeth he, and taketh with himself seven other spirits more wicked than himself, and they enter in and dwell there, and the last state of that man is worse than the first. Even so shall it be also unto this wicked generation. Quote, Brethren, this is to reveal to you what happens to the world. Some people say that when at first they embrace Brotherhood of the Cross and Star, they have no problem. But, they, but later on, they start to face problems. Many also say that when they were newly members of one church or the other, they found peace, after which problems started to set into their ways. A great number of people ask why it is that Christ healed sicknesses. But no, there are many sicknesses in the world. In reply, Christ said, He uses the Holy Spirit to drive away the evil spirit. He has spoken these words, and these words are for those who have ears. Once this evil spirit is driven out from you, you have to devote yourself in the services of God so that you may receive the Holy Spirit. The situation is that Immediately the evil spirit is driven out from you and you feel that you have found your feet on the ground, you would begin to look for all those things that you had abandoned. You will go back to all types of drinks and all types of men or women which you had previously abandoned. What has brought about these things? It is backsliding. Some of you after baptism would go back to your homes and sit down and call yourselves brotherhood members. When you stay back at home, those evil spirits which were driven out from you will stage a comeback and inquire to know what is your position in life and what is the position of the house which they went out from? When the evil spirit comes back to find that the house is empty and unkept, that is, you do not go to church or any better, nor do you engage yourself in the activity of God. The evil spirit will go back and bring seven more evil spirits to come and dwell inside you. That is why when you who had forsaken drinking, fornication, 
adultery and all other vices. After some time, you fell back to these things. Brethren, that is what is responsible. There is an adage which says, if somebody is running after you, if the person pursuing you does not stop, you cannot stop, so that the other person might not catch up with you. If the tree which is being cut does not fall down, the ox cannot rest. Our Lord Jesus Christ gave a parable of how a sower went in the night and sowed seeds on the farm. That is why you have been given the instruction to stand firm and serve God both day and night. Some of you here <coughs> think and even say that if attendance to prayers were to be two or three times a week, as is done in other churches, it would be convenient. Have you not seen how their knowledge is shallow? Going to church after seven days? If the evil spirit had been driven out of you, go and stay at home for six days and on the seventh day you go back? Do you not think that the evil spirit which was driven out from you who stayed and come back to you? Be not weary in serving God. Have you seen the cause of the downfall of man? When you go to church on the seventh day, the word of God is preached to you that you should forsake fornication and stealing and all the other vices. After that, you go back and stay at home for six days. During that time, you are at home. You are being possessed again with the evil spirits and that evil spirit which was driven out from you will come back and seeing that you are idle at home would go and find seven more devilish spirits and add to itself and they would come back unto you. There is an adage which says how many times will something happen to you before you know yourself. As it was said that a saw sowed some seeds in the farm and the evil one went in the night to sow the seeds, it therefore means that as God does not sleep, the devil also does not sleep. That is why you see us operate 24 hours throughout the year and it is said that the gate is not closed but is open day and night so that people might come in and go out. The evil spirit is always watching and spying on you to know what your condition is so that if you do not sing, if you do not pray and if you do not testify and do not give up yourself to the service of God, it would stage a comeback. That was why our Lord Jesus Christ told his disciples that they should watch and pray lest they would fall into temptation. A spiritual warfare, brethren, this warfare is not that of the flesh but a spiritual warfare. If Judas Iscariot had known that when they were at the secret meeting that the devil, that the evil spirit was very close to him, he would have run away. Brethren, when the evil spirit comes to you, who'd come to you, who'd not see, and so when they were at the table, the evil spirit approached Judas Iscariot. Do you think that when you are moving along the road and you begin to have a type of thinking that someone can emerge from the bush 
and attack you or that you were going to be waylaid by some people who do you think that the evil spirit does not visit you? When you left home you did not think of meeting any beautiful girl or handsome young man or being intimate with anyone. But as soon as you see the beautiful girl, you would feel that the girl is beautiful or the boy is handsome for you. In the same way, when you left home for your friend's house, you did not contemplate on stealing any money. But as soon as you see a large sum of money, it is Satan that approaches you and tells you that that is the money you were looking for. Why can you not get hold of the money? Or do you think that thought is thrown into your heart by God or by Satan? When you transact business with someone and he comes to ask you about it, it is Satan that drives you into the tendency to tell lies. Backsliding attracts evil spirit. Brethren, that is why our Lord Jesus Christ advised you to pray without ceasing. We should sing always and testify to God's work always. He also admonishes us not to be weary in the work of God, but as much as lies within our power, we should continue to serve God both day and night. A great number of us here do fast and pray. If you fast and pray, you will stand firm. But if you fall back and do not fast and pray, when the evil spirit comes back to find that you do not fast and pray, it will surely come back. You should know that if any person has participated in the glory of this kingdom, but later backslides, know that the last position of that person is worse than the first. It could have been better that you had not witnessed the glory. You have not witnessed this truth and all that has happened in this kingdom than for you to see all that has happened in this kingdom then backslide do you think that if somebody is on the run and two persons find it difficult to get hold of him after he has been captured and tied hands and leg if he is able to loosen himself and run away again that two persons would not be able to arrest him, you would have to send many more persons to get him arrested. This is a special work and if someone is brought here who has been possessed and you say let all the evil spirits would be driven out and all the encumbrances would be taken off from him. But if this person should backslide he does not pray, he does not fast, he does not sing, and does not testify. Do you not know that the evil spirit which was driven out from him will go out and bring more devilish spirits to come and attack such a person? And his present state would be worse than the first. Many people do not realize why we always observe fasting every Thursday and dry fasting three times every year. This is for the purpose of the spiritual warfare. When I observe that the evil one has come back to you, I give you an order that you should go on dry fasting in order that you might be fortified and the evil one is driven from you in the same way if you do not attend morning and evening prayers the evil spirit will have the opportunity to stage a comeback whether you have time or not 
Five to ten minutes is enough for you to come in for morning and evening prayer. If you are not able to sit down, come in and knock your head on the ground and go back. That is better than for you to allow your house to be empty because if you allow your house to be empty, these evil spirits would come in. Are you not surprised that somebody who comes to brotherhood and would like to attend morning prayer and evening prayer every day and would also go and minister work and would give himself up to the work of God would after some time backslide? He will not think about attending prayer but would stay at home and would drink like a bee and go about with women and all sorts of things. If you would want to rebuke him, he would tell you to shut up because he had been in brotherhood for 10 years and there is no need for you poking your nose into his business many of you are filled with the holy spirit but some of you from head to toe are filled with the evil spirits and that is why they keep on complaining that they have problems they have difficulties they have tribulations and afflictions they also complain that when they come to brotherhood initially things were very good but now things have turned against them some people would tell you that when they come into brotherhood they were preaching and had been going on ministry work. But now, what has stopped them? What has caused their backsliding? Why do they not continue to pray and preach? Watch and pray. Brethren, our Lord Jesus Christ had advised that we should watch and pray lest we enter into temptation he also said that if the owner of the house had known the hour and the time that the thief would come he would have been watchful we are tools of god sanctified for his work brethren therefore brethren those of us who have realized this glory should stand firm, preach, pray, and go and minister to work, and also testify to the glory of God. This is so because to preach is the power of God, to pray is the power of God, and to give testimony is the power of God. Some people think that when they are baptized, they are cleansed, and that is all. I am telling you, that is not enough. You should always pray. You should always preach, sing, and testify of the glory of God. And you will always keep steady with the words of God. We are the tools of God, sanctified for His work. We are given the assignment to go out and preach and pray. But if we backslide and stay at home and do not preach nor pray and do not sing nor testify, the evil spirit which was driven out of us would go and bring back seven other spirits and they would come and occupy your body and your last state would be worse than the first. You should always put on the armor of God because the world is always against you in order to defeat the tricks the cunningness of satan you have to be truthful you have to be humble have self-control and possess the virtues of god it is a very pitiful situation that somebody has been washed but afterwards he dips himself into the mud by going to commit adultery, to steal, and to tell lies and commit all sorts of vices. What do you think of such a person? 
in such a situation. Brethren, Brotherhood of the Cross has star as a pamphlet titled The First Step to God. And before you are baptized, that pamphlet is read to you that you should refrain from all the things enumerated in that pamphlet. You always affirm that you have repented from your sins before baptism. It is a very sad it is very sad that after your baptism you plunge yourself into those things headlong. If we were to consider ourselves, we should be shedding tears and cursing ourselves. Most of us are like dogs which after vomiting and eat back the vomit. When you come in here, you are told to refrain from fornication and from indulging in concoction and all other things. But after some time you plunge yourself back into these things. What then would be your position? Whatever position you may be in in brotherhood, be you a pastor or an evangelist, an apostle, a prophet, a deaconess, or a Christ servant, a chorister, a, 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 a elder, or whatever, you should be very sorry for yourself if you behave in such a way that after you have been sanctified, you go back into the world. The word of God says that if we had escaped the pollution of this world, and then we go back to become entangled with these things, it means that we have crucified Christ the second time. We are therefore not fit to live. It would therefore become extremely difficult to reform such a person. If someone backslides from brotherhood of the cross and star and does not want to come back, there is no need going to plead with him to come back. Allow him to go. That is why when you remain here, you always testify to the fact that you have seen Jesus Christ. You have seen the Holy Spirit and have seen God face to face and all good things are seen by you. But immediately you backslide and stay at home and the evil spirit has come back to you. You no more see God. You only see the devil. You see concoction, you see mermaids and all sorts of devilish things. That is because the evil spirit has gone and brought in seven more devilish spirits into you. You have always seen here that sometimes somebody would be in the altar and preaching. That is only God that is working here. But when he backslides, he would say all sorts of things. You should not be surprised because the evil spirits have taken hold of him. Not only one, but seven more devilish spirits have taken hold of him. God is in you always. Brethren, you would see someone who had been in Brotherhood of the Cross and star for 10 to 20 years by sliding and indulging himself in charm, concoction, talisman, and all other devilish practices. They drink all sorts of wine, commit adultery and fornication, tell all sorts of lies, and if you see them, how they go to sorcerers and necromancers, you'll be surprised. If you are a new person in Brother of the Cross and Star, you would ask, Is this what is obtaining here? He would answer that you have just come, and when it is your time, you would do much more than he himself. You would notice someone who has never been in Brother of the Cross and Star, and when the first step to God is read to him, he would be satisfied and would try to refrain from all those things. 
but those who call themselves old members of brotherhood would become stumbling block to such persons. Some people come in like Nicod like Nicodemus in the night and when they come in the evil spirits are driven out from them and they are sanctified. But after some time they would not come again but go and either way because they would feel that people would speak ill of them. They would go and stay at home and in the same way the evil spirit which was driven away would go and take seven more devilish spirits and enter into him and his last position would be worse than the first. If you want to confirm what I am imparting to you now, you should go and talk to some of those people who are members of this fold who have now backslided. You would realize what their position is and the impression they have now. There is no wisdom that after someone has seen this glory, he then backslides. There is no wisdom that after someone had refrained from fornication, drinking, lying, stealing, and all other vices, he then goes back to do all these things. It is not his pleasure to do all these things. But the fact remains that he had refused to accept the words of God. That is why the evil spirits have continued to lead him. If we have decided to serve God, we should do it all the days of our life. After you have received the Holy Spirit of God, you should go out and preach, testify to the glory of God and pray with whatever is your occupation. Spending a little time to serve God pays your great dividend whether you are a judge or a magistrate or a governor or a minister or a commissioner, whatever you are, you should not stop praying. Why we open battles in many places is in order that you might have a place where you can go to worship in the morning and in the evening so that you might not stay, so that you might not say that the battle is too far from a, from away. It's too far away. If you like, you can keep prayer in the morning with your family so that you may not give chance to the devil to stay to come back into you. Why every person should be a preacher is so that you might not give any chance to Satan to come back to you as soon as you receive the word of God which is the Spirit of God, you have been sanctified. Therefore, you have to go out and preach because it is the force that drive away the devil. When you go out and preach the Word of God, you will drive away the demon. Many people come in here and ask, why do you not operate as other church denominations? How they keep their prayer meetings? and their church services. We cannot do as they are doing because of what I have explained to you earlier. Many of you have come in here not for any purpose but for the material things of this world so that they might pass examinations or get promotions or have other basic necessities of life. Is that the reason why you have been called in here so that you may be given the basic necessities of life? That is not the main reason you were called in here. Many people are complaining and suggesting that if prayer were kept to at least once a week, it would have been better. The reason why they say this is because they have come here for different purposes and we have a different purpose all together. My, my purpose is that 
so you might not be controlled by the evil spirit and that you might not end up at a position where you would be worse off than were you at the first when you were at the first a spiritual chorus say when the words of God is in my heart I will have life brethren as long as you continue to receive the words of God and are filled with the words of God you would have life and you will overcome the world because you have been sanctified and God gives life in you and therefore the house is not empty the evil spirit cannot come back into it this is the reason why I continue to fertilize your heart with the words of God and so there would be no stumbling block for you but you would grow from strength to strength you do not go to preach in order that you might get money alone you do not attend prayer so that you might get material things of this world but you do all these things so that you might not give satan the opportunity the opportunity to come back into you the holy spirit is the spirit of peace it is the spirit of love of patience of humility and of faith it is the Holy Spirit, which is the embodiment of all the virtues of love. Since this Spirit is dwelling in you, and since this Spirit has taken control of you, you can no more fornicate, nor steal, nor tell lies, or, nor give yourself up to any of the evil things, brethren. Read the second, read the first lesson again. First lesson, First Peter chapter 2, verse 20. For if after they have escaped the pollutions of the world through the knowledge of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, they are again entangled therein, and overcome the latter end is worse with them than the beginning brethren have you heard what is read to you some of you here might live with those who do not believe in God and when you go out there who try everything possible to convince you that drinking is not a bad thing they would tell you that you should drink a little for the sake of your stomach. Evil communication corrupts good manners, brethren. That is why the Bible says that you should not keep company with fornicators, with drunkards, with thieves, nor someone who does not believe in the words of God. Evil communication corrupts good manners, if a fornicator or a prostitute is able to convince you to go and ministry work with him or her, whatever happens, you will be forced to be intimate with him or her. If you keep company with someone who likes to use herbs or tablets or injections to treat himself, if you do not have a strong will, and the Holy Spirit to resist him, he will not fail to cause you to treat yourself with these things. If you keep company with someone who likes drinks or money very much, he will call you to come and see how he gets the money and he would do those things and still continue to go to the Father. When you look at him, you would say, what is the use of my staying in the world? Look at this other person. The father likes him very much 
I will do these things in order to get money. And you would plunge yourself into this type of things that he is doing. He has instructed us to come out from among them and be separated and we should not allow ourselves to be defiled and he shall be to us a father and we shall be to him as his children. The repercussions of keeping company with evil ones, brethren, you have heard that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. And you would question exactly the same way as I have explained to you. Inasmuch as you do not guard against keeping company with evil ones, once you plunge yourself into the evils of this world, your last position will be worse than the first, since it has been preached to you to refrain from fornication, from drinking, killing, and telling lies, and people continue to indulge in these things, it means that God will not hasten to save them.